All right, congratulations, my friend. You have survived the bear market of 2018 and 2019, and what comes next is potentially a bull market that'll be bigger than we've ever seen before, bigger than the previous cycle for Bitcoin, for cryptocurrency, and it has the potential to make you rich. It could change your life, but it is risky. Look, if you've been subscribed to us, you know most of my portfolio is in Bitcoin. It is Bitcoin, I believe, is my best chance to get the highest return on my investment with the lowest risk of failure. I wanna tell you right up front, it's not too late to get into Bitcoin. However, I'm sure you realize by now, as the next few years go by, as this multi-year bull cycle completes, Probably the most you can hope for with Bitcoin is, what, 10x, 20x? Hey, <laughs> that's good enough for me, that's good enough for me, but you and I both know that human psychology will lead most people down the primrose path to try and find the next Bitcoin. I mean, 20x, it's simply not good enough when you see all these random altcoins doing 50x on any random week, right? Trying to find that next lottery ticket. It's normal, it's natural, it's human psychology. And the fact is, most new people, they're not gonna know the difference between Bitcoin versus any altcoins. They're gonna come into this space, they're gonna see that owning one whole Bitcoin, wow, it's already out of my reach. They'll rationalize. Well, well, I guess it's better to own a lot of this altcoin than it is to own just a fraction of one Bitcoin, right? Just like how owning 100 glass beads is better than owning one ounce of gold right? And even those people that actually understand Bitcoin, they probably understand that Bitcoin is their best bet. They're still going to take a little bit of their money and throw it into some of these alts because, I mean, why not? Why not try and capitalize on the pumps? It's human nature. So if you want to play the alt game, I guess the question you have to ask yourself is what altcoin is going to be the most appealing to new people? As in, what altcoin is going to look the most promising in a space that's kind of hard to understand? My guess well, one of my guesses. My guess, I think XRP is one of those altcoins. I think that XRP has the potential to get pumped, make you rich, but it's ultimately gonna fail. We're gonna discuss all this and more in today's video. This is only my opinion. Before we continue, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you appreciate videos like this, take three seconds, like the video. It's, it's really a small thing you can do and it truly does help us grow as a channel. Let's get into it. XRP, it was originally called Ripple. It's a cryptocurrency, it was created in 2012, and it's used by the Ripple company to go with their Ripple payment network. Built for enterprise use, it is built for banks to use for cross-border payments. So XRP's main claim to fame is that they are fast, they are cheap, and they're meant to be compliant with the traditional financial system. So while well, Bitcoin, Bitcoin was created, among other things, to disrupt the banking industry, XRP was created to work with it. So let's talk about it. Why XRP will make you rich. XRP will look very appealing to people coming in this space because it's something that you can understand. You know, it's not like an AI coin or, or a platform cryptocurrency. XRP is something you can wrap your head around. Oh, oh yeah, the banker's version of Bitcoin. Right, right, because I heard that, you know, I heard governments don't like Bitcoin and XRP, it's gonna work with them or, or it's gonna work with the banks. Yeah, oh, it's fast and cheap? Well, that's something I can understand. Well, that's something I can wrap my head around. I was going to buy Bitcoin. I think I'm just going to get me a few XRP tokens while they're still cheap, you know, before the banks get in. And let's go further. You know, one thing that XRP does right, I mean, perhaps they do this better than any other altcoin, is public relations. They are constantly spending money and getting their name out there. They have created their own web series. They got Ashton Kutcher to promote XRP on Ellen's show, giving to her charity. They gave some to Stephen Colbert's charity. They got national recognition, and this is just to name a few. My point is that Ripple does a great job with influencer marketing and marketing in general. And don't get me wrong, you know, I'm glad that Ripple is giving to celebrities' charities. You know, it's good for the charities. But that doesn't really equal a long-term investable opportunity, in my opinion. Plus, where do you think they're getting this money? I mean, this is the money that they printed when they created the XRP token. It's the same money that they cash out of every month when they unlock some and then they dump it on their hodlers. I mean, hey, if you're wondering why XRP seems to be suppressed, almost stable sometimes, if you wonder why it's not going up, I think it's because Ripple, the company, is selling some of their XRP on the open market, dumping their bags onto the hodlers and stifling the price. 
because they are a centralized company. But hey, think about this. You know, that same company that holds the majority of XRP tokens in escrow, that has the means to get big names like Ashton Kutcher on Ellen DeGeneres and give to Stephen Colbert's charity, you know, that same company that pays for bots to comment on Twitter and YouTube, that same company that's spending money right now, they're surely doing so to create this awareness and the sense of hype for the future with the intention probably to push the price back up. I mean, that's what we saw last cycle. They could do it again. I think XRP is one altcoin that is probably the most prone to pumping and reaching big gains sometime in the next bull cycle. Now, let's talk about why XRP will ultimately fail. I want you to think about this. If, if banks wanted to use cryptocurrency for fast border payments, well, why wouldn't they just create their own stable coin? Why wouldn't they just do what JP Morgan has already done? It makes sense, right? I mean, a stable coin would be better to transfer money across borders. Why wouldn't they just do what Facebook is doing? Why wouldn't they just create a stable coin that's tied to a basket of currencies like Facebook? I mean, why wouldn't they do either of these? If your answer is that, well, they're going to need something more secure, something that's more decentralized, well, the best crypto they could use then would be Bitcoin. Oh, well, wait, Bitcoin is not fast. XRP can make transactions for a fraction of a second. Guys, do you know how easy it is to make a fast blockchain? Just centralize it. Just centralize it. Centralize your blockchain incredibly fast. Bitcoin isn't centralized, so its transaction speed is not as fast as XRP. I mean, it's faster than you know, what the banks currently use, but yeah, it's not as fast as XRP. But the biggest reason as to why banks will not use XRP is simply this. Banks will not adopt it. I mean, think about it. Why would a bank use an unregistered security to transfer value? You say XRP is meant to work with banks. You say XRP is meant to fit in the traditional financial infrastructure. Why didn't it register with the SEC? Why was it sold publicly? Why was it sold publicly with the intention that it will go up in value? I mean, every time you do an XRP transaction, some of the coins get burned, less supply, it's going up in value. Why would any bank use an unregistered security like XRP to transfer value when there are better options available? Well, now your argument is that, you know, XRP, it's, they're not gonna use it in the US. XRP is gonna succeed outside the US. Okay, I guess. Let's see which banks adopt it. And keep in mind, guys, you know, I'm rooting for it. If XRP gains real adoption, I would root for it. I would applaud it. That'd be great. I just don't think that's what's going to happen. You know, XRP is probably going to make a lot of people a lot of money in the coming years, but I think it will ultimately fail. I think a bank would just make their own stable coin, or maybe in the distant, distant future, they just use Bitcoin or nothing at all. Anyways, invest at your own risk. This is just my opinion. And if you like videos like this, if you want me to do more videos like this, comment below, let me know. Plenty more to cover on this channel. Stay subscribed.